up guys so today I'm gonna to make a quick tutorial video on how to make burritos I just started making burritos about a few weeks ago and I really enjoy it so I thought I'd show you guys a quick video on how I make my burritos so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys what products I use what ingredients I use and what brand I use once again you can use whatever brand you want to use this is what I use so I enjoy it it works for me you can use whatever you want to do so the first thing obviously you need is the tortillas i get low carb tortillas doesn't make me feel as guilty when i have about five or six of these make sure you don't forget the taco seasoning this definitely gives you a nice little taco um, seasoning all in one get yourself some refried beans I chose to get some organic refried beans. This is also a vegetarian one. So this is my first time actually using this particular brand, but I'm sure it's amazing. Don't forget your guacamole. I go for the singles because sometimes when you make a whole bunch and you don't use it, it really goes to waste. If I go for these little single packets, I always go for the spicy ones. Love spicy food. Here you got your sour cream. Today we're going with the light one, 50% less fat. Like I said, I don't feel as guilty, even though I still feel guilty, but not as guilty, right? For having four or five. And you can't forget your cheese. So I have the four cheese, all natural cheese. That's what they say, right? So you got that. And the meat that I'm choosing today is going to be the bison meat. As backup, I have ground beef over here. Always go for the grass fed. Uh, this one I believe is 90% lean, 10% fat. All right, let's get started. I am starving. If you hear some snoring, it's probably coming from Frida over there. They're sleeping. Hi, Van Gogh. Hi Frida. <laughs> so I always cook on a cast iron. It's my favorite way to cook because sometimes I could just eat right off of the cast without worrying about, you know, putting it on any dish or anything like that. So you want to get your olive oil, you know, pour enough you on. And we're going to start right away with the ground bison right away. Get it nice and low. All right, now that it is nice and want to get this ground beef, bison. I am not going to add too much ground beef, so I'll just add about like maybe like 20% of it. All right, now that I got the meat ready to go, make sure you get your taco seasoning and you just kind of like, you know, spread it around. There you go. This is where you can get all your seasoning right here. So, you know, use at your discretion. I like my stuff nice and seasoned. So sometimes I go a little bit, uh, then you just wanna, this is really important right here. You wanna really get it in there and break up all this meat or else it's just gonna stick to each other. And then later on, you're gonna have to like do this all over again. All right. Uh 
All right, guys, so it's been about eight minutes. I'm just checking up on it. Maybe give it a little, little bit more, maybe two more minutes. That should be done. And then I'm gonna start on the burrito, the tortillas, and all that other good stuff. All right, so let's the fun begin. Let's get the fun started. So I am going to now prep these tortillas. But before we get the tortilla prepped up, you gotta make sure you get your air fryer started. I use an air fryer because I love cooking in this baby. This is like a little oven for me. I usually get it at, nah, I don't even want it that high, to be honest. You wanna go low because you don't wanna fry your tortilla, then it gets really hard. So I usually go really low just to be on the safe side. So I'll stick at 350 and I usually cook each tortilla for about two minutes. Once again, you're not trying to fry your tortilla. You just want to warm it up for that cheese to melt. All right, let's get these refried beans spread out. All right, next I am going to add the crispy fried onions. All right, one minute just passed by. Let's take a look at this. Oh, look at these. Let me bring the camera in a little closer for you guys. As you can see, it came out perfect. I don't know if you can hear, my stomach is actually growling right now. Look at that. Let me feel, yep. The tortilla is perfectly, not too hard, not too soft, a little bit crisp to it. Perfect, now let's decorate this bad boy. All right, we got the first one out. Let's get the second one. Look at that. And now I am going to add the guacamole. I'm going to use the singles because that way I don't waste anything. When I first started doing this, I was adding too much guacamole. So now I'm just learning how to be a little bit more conservative. That's why these singles come in handy because when you buy the big one, you just want to use it all up. Next up, we got the sour cream. I like this new packaging. You could just kind of sp spread it out. <laughs> As you can see, the meat is cooked perfectly and I've been chomping away to spread it out and it's cooked. I'm gonna say pretty good. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna go right here. And now I'm going to spread this out. There you go. Nice, this looks so good, can't wait. This is my secret sauce. This has ghost pepper that I actually planted in my backyard this summer, mixed in with a few other things to come up with this delicious, delicious sauce. 
And this is the fun part, guys, closing this guy up. Look at that. You know, this is a basic burrito. You could add like lettuce, tomatoes, raw onions, and all that good stuff. But today I'm keeping it really simple. I didn't want to add too much because it's my first YouTube video. Um, as you can see, if your tortilla sits out for a while, it starts to get a little hard, but I'm sure you don't mind that because I sure don't. Look at this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to have a bite of this real right now and let's see how it tastes. Sorry about that, the memory of my uh, SIM card died, but I'm back. Thank you guys for watching the whole video. Make sure you press like, subscribe, tell a friend, all that good stuff that you're supposed to do on YouTube. Help this channel grow, and I hope to continue sharing more videos on how to cook burritos and more. <laughs>